Not really. I still felt like me, if that's what you're asking. You didn't remember anything? About her? Who she was? She was just... gone? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. Your name's really Venus, huh? Everybody asks me that. Even the other idols. Maybe that's why Lady Aphrodite noticed me in the first place. She says it was fated to be. I say it's because my mama was a diehard hippie. <laughs> How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> so I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago, and she came in with one of the older residents. And she was there in this, like, amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like, they were old friends or something. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So, I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that? <laughs> yeah. She came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. But don't you feel this is wrong? I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder-suicide pact. I don't think of it like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger. Something amazing. Or maybe you're right. It'll be terrible. And I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. Back again. I don't think I'll have a chance to talk to Aphrodite. Not before, you know. Uh, I was hoping she might have spared a moment. What should I do? You have two choices, Grace. Either you do as she asks and sing her to her rest. At which point Venus won't have Aphrodite's memories yet. Or you somehow convince her to remain with us and hope she's grateful. And doesn't regret it. Or get angry at me for ruining her party. Do what you feel is right. It's a risk either way. Have you spoken with Venus? She seems really... Nice, earnest, a genuinely good person. Yeah, I suppose. It's not an accident. Ever since the war, Aphrodite has sought out the kindest, the most innocent souls to be her successors. She chooses them because she believes that over time, it might make her a better person. A more worthy person. Wouldn't it be better if she chose people who were, I don't know, more resilient? I suppose that depends on your definition of strength, Grace. I should get back out there. I have tried so hard fought for so long, but in the end, I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here. 
to this strange new world. This time, it is with the help of our lovely muse that we shall be guided. We let them rise. We let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden. We held court from up above. Twas the golden age of reason, and I the queen of love. But a plague of hate was spreading, and there were vultures standing by. Before we fell to our knees begging, we fell from the sky. We let them rise, we let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. We had revelry and rebirth. A family all together. Till 13 million marching men cut us down forever. But Brother Ares made it happen Joined their war without dispute Now the once mighty immortals Are just mud under a boot We let them take our loved ones It's what they wanted all along We thought they were beneath us We were wrong, we were wrong Poisonous reward. My virtues only scorned me when I was once adored. Loved by every mortal, then ripped from paradise. No one suffered greater till he made his sacrifice. tongue for so long not such a fan of this old plan but who's to say that you're wrong now should have got a race of memory when there's no chance of changing history this guy that sacrificed his life so you can live in his place wish he'd drop by cause man i'd die to see the look, look on, on his face. face you try to hide from your reality but then come back with regularity and if you notice a disparity then what's the meaning of his legacy Everybody. Who gives a damn about your suffering? Everybody. Who wants to see you be yourself again? Everybody. Who feels your pain in case you're wondering? Everybody. You got the time, but it's to stuttering. Everybody. Everybody wants to see you fall in love. This is what we do now that morons moralize. They be through their mouths. Could they sympathize? Please, just shut it. War rain down from above, hate flooded into the drains. I feel nothing of love, only the fear of the chains. Over long forgotten stains, it's not my blood inside these veins. 
only human remains calling for everybody knows my pain is insurmountable everybody fights your attitude detestable everybody wants to hold themselves accountable everybody how have you something more suggestible everybody wants to see you fall in love I never thought you'd let it get this way I stood by watching what we've built decay We're just pretending that the ending is near Mother, isn't it clear? Your family's here Everybody can see the agony you're going through Everybody knows the goddess is inside of you Everybody keeps repeating what they're meant to do. Everybody, I've got to stop it just to prove to you. Everybody wants to see you fall in love. Everybody, who's gonna help me overcome the war? Everybody, who's gonna be there when I'm on the floor? Everybody, who's gonna cry when I walk out the door? Everybody, 'cause I'm not gonna do this anymore. Everybody wants to. Mother, is it true? You've chosen to... Live? I have chosen to live. I'm so sorry, Venus. I made you so many promises, dearest, and I won't be able to keep them. My lady, all I ever wanted was for you to be happy. If this is your wish, I'll be with you at every step. I as well. Always. I hope none of us regret this choice in the days to come. But thank you. It has to be better than doing the same thing over and over. Does it? It could also be far worse. Don't talk like that, Mother. We can fight this. I'm so very tired, my loves, but I will. I'll try. Now then, Grace, you needed my help. No doubt regarding Calliope's death. Have you any suspicions as to who might be responsible? I'm not sure. Calliope was attacked at the reliquary, so it had to be someone who had access. So that's where she went. Calliope came to see us that night. She was agitated, frightened even, but she wouldn't explain why. She said she had a plan. It must have been the reliquary. A plan? A plan for what? What could she find at the reliquary that would help her? Maybe she wanted a weapon, something to defend herself with. But she got inside and didn't take anything. How odd. Hecate must be beside herself with annoyance. I'm afraid I can't offer much help, Grace. If you have access to the reliquary, I certainly do not, and I don't know who does. If Medusa was there, I'd ask her why and how. There were always motives lurking within her motives. Come now, Mother. It's time you rested. It's been a long night. Hmm. If I don't, I suppose you'll both gang up on me again. Hmm. Very well. So, did they have anything helpful? The reliquary. Well, you've been busy. 
I hope you aren't thinking of seeking out Medusa. I have to. How else will I find out what she knows? You need to be careful, Grace. Medusa is not to be toyed with. Athena employs her as a spy master. A hound to do her bidding. A vicious hound at that. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain who would know. Are you alright, Grace? You seem troubled. What you said earlier, about Calliope's memories coming back. That wasn't how I wanted you to find out. I'm sorry. If you like, we can talk about it later at my place, after you've had some time to digest. I might do that. Thanks. You really are amazing, you know that? Every hurdle, every piece of unpleasant news, you just... Keep on going. I don't know how you do it. It kind of helps that I don't have a choice. I just wish I could see the world through your eyes. Next to you, I feel very... old. How about you come with me sometime? Let me show you the world I see. And... What of Pan? The way you speak about him, I assumed... Forget Pan. He certainly doesn't think much of my chances. Then he's a fool. Would you be willing to show me now? Hey, I'm game if you are. Open your eyes If you try to search for the light You might be surprised No, it's not hard to find The courage you need to be joyful Is something you build over time No matter what I do The answer's in you But I will be here for the ride I will be here for the ride I'll take your hand for a minute Oh, it's more than I feel I deserve It could grow on me This world that you see Yet I've been alive for too long a thousand years of learning about what could go wrong I'm tired of being wrong If it all went wrong And it could go wrong Still better to lose Than to never open up That's the one thing I want to get across The courage you need to be trying Something you build over time No matter what I do The answer's in you I will be here for the ride Yes, I will be here for the As I recall, Grace, when I said stay or leave, you chose to leave. If it wasn't clear, I don't give second chances. Or did you have some other reason for darkening my doorstep? I wanted to see you again. 
Make sure there were no hard feelings. <laughs> oh, so it's a social visit then. Oh, let me be clear. There are no hard feelings. There are no feelings at all. You came, you got what you wanted, you left. Wherever you need to go next, I'm sure Apollo can take you. There's nothing stopping us from being friends. We don't need to be allies. As I said before, I'm still not convinced of your innocence. I'd say that stops us from being friends, Grace. Really? Still? Either you're guilty, in which case you won't be here long, or you're innocent, and we can speak after the trial. But one last word of advice before you go. If you want to survive, don't look to anyone else for help. Not Apollo, not Pan, not even me. You walked away from my offer, and I respect that. Make your choices and live with them. Hey, hey, so what's the news, Miss Muse? <laughs> Miss Muse? <sighs> well, does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. Well, I, uh, stopped the goddess of love from killing herself, I guess? Whoa. Do gods have interventions? You know, they're nothing like I thought they would be. Everything else okay, though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet, no. Okay, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, oh, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them, do you think? What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still crashing on Brian's couch? Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things? Then where is Kaz li Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us when they're ready. But right now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. You know what I find weird? That the idols have managed to remain completely secret all these years. Sure, they have magic and whatnot, but in all this time, nobody's found them out? Athena is that good? Who says nobody has found them out? The way I see it, it's like UFOs. Okay, I have to hear this. Okay, so you could have real evidence that UFOs exist and that governments have covered it up and people still wouldn't believe it. Why? Because they'd get laughed at if they admitted it. Imagine the headline. Greek gods exist and are living among us. What website would even run that? Weird conspiracy ones. Yeah, you're right. Exactly how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today. Or who they ever were, maybe. Still might be useful. There's gotta be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe? Who do you want to hear about? Just how many of these gods are there? From what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Hundreds even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there's never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost. An image of someone after they die. Makes sense. Me? I'm more amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Makes you think about what's been lost, but also what might still be out there. What about Apollo? Okay, so the prophecy stuff checks out. Apollo was god of the sun and light, but also kind of of enlightenment in general. He's always talked about as this beautiful and cultured god involved with the arts and the muses. Kind of a renaissance man before the renaissance. He's clearly had a rough time since those days. Well, he was also a giant horn dog, Grace. I can list off like a dozen men and women Apollo has had as lovers, and there's probably more. Weren't they all like that, though? 
I mean, Apollo's no Zeus. He never uh, assaulted anyone as a swan. And no, they aren't all like that. Our sun god had a reputation. Do you know anything about the Muses, or Calliope in particular? Yeah, for starters, there were supposed to be nine, though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Each of the muses had her specialty. Did you know that Calliope is supposed to be the muse of epic poetry? She inspired the Odyssey. Wow, I don't even like poetry. Yeah, it was said her singing voice was unmatched. So they got that part right, at least. Did she also lead the ancient Greeks in giant choreographed dance numbers? Mm, no, but she once turned a bunch of snobby princesses into magpies, so there's that. Tell me what you know about Persephone. Honestly, she's the least like her stories. Usually, she's either a victim or just the wife of Hades, or both. And that's it? She was kidnapped by Hades and a story? Mm, pretty much. Her mother was so angry, she created winter. But otherwise, Persephone was just your average sweet and virginal fertility goddess. You're right, that doesn't sound like her at all. Must be hard to be defined by this one thing that happened to you thousands of years ago. I'd be pissed if everyone thought my story ended there. Well, she is pretty pissed. That much is true. What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Sure, but mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light. She was a warrior goddess. She was also the goddess of heroes. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No female heroes back in those days? Yeah, guess not. Women were the weaker sex, which maybe is why Athena was portrayed as being vindictive. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses. She turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan War. It's the whole thing. Not being as wise as advertised is on brand for her, then. You said Pan was some kind of lust god, right? Yeah, kind of. Pan's a god of the wild, and I guess that translates into a sort of lustfulness and earthiness, humping nymphs in the forest sort of thing. And you don't like him. Honestly, he's exactly what I'd expect him to be. All the stories say he's a lech and a beast. The Christians equated him with the devil. Weirdly, he's also the only god who's supposed to have died, though it's never really clear how or why. Anyhow, there's a great statue depicting Pan having sex with a goat. Next time you see him, you gotta ask him about it. You think there might be other gods out there? Well, there are all those gods the idols say wandered off. We don't know they're dead for sure, right? They could be living it up in Australia. Who would know? Then there are all the other mythologies, hundreds of cultures, each with their own pantheon. So what's so special about the Greeks? That only their gods are real, right? And all those other pantheons could be living in secrecy, just like the idols. And that means they're hidden from each other, too. Oh, they could be everywhere, and no one would know. It's like a whole other secret side to the world. Yeah, it's cool, right? <laughs> I hope I get to meet Ganesha one day. Or maybe Lakshmi? Oh. Hmm. I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. Really? Nothing definitive? Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago, Grace. Not much information survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. I should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're right, Grace. How dare you sabotage my dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I mean. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. <laughs> well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. Or two, we get back to it and the band now has THE Muse as its lead singer. Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate band name ever. Ugh, I still really hate that name. 
Look, Grace, you can't be the source of all the drama and name the band, okay? That's the rule. Okay, that's enough questions for now. You sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Oh, there you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Freddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Freddy... Please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. Um, I'm sorry. Are you not about to head into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else would you call that? <laughs> you're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who knows? Maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. Well, that'd be a switch. Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh... Well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed? Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Asterion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Hi! Uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh, God. No. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the body odors. Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I uh, no, done. no, do not tell me that I'll I got it wrong. I spent fifty dollars on this ticket. I demand my personal photo.
before you start the show Pam said to say hello That's what he said to say mm. Well, any friend of Pan's Is a friend of Pan's Um, okay I hate to interrupt your flow There's just some things I need to know I wish there was another way. Hmm. Yes, you do. Now, look into me. Your body goes freely. Every time I see its tenders Any questions or comments? <laughs> That's right, it is widely known that I can turn folks to stone. But no, oh, I won't this time. Because this time I find dine that the oozy musy bloods my wine this time. <laughs> Look into me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey! Medusa, look into your own eyes. Nope. Okay, it was worth a shot. You know you're not unhot. That's my opinion anyway. Don't look at me. The snakes, sure they're snakes, but you can pass them off as fakes. Like it's just a cosplay. Don't look at You're me. You're not a monster to me. I think that you should try to see Medusa in yes, another way. little girl. No more Hail Marys. The not unhot girl is you. The monster's me. You don't know. You don't know. Do know that you didn't. Kill Calliope. So you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No. Yes, you do know, you know. Does that mean Athena knows? No. You think that will hurt me, child? You have not done your homework. Oh, sorry, just trying to get your attention. 
Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. Hey, stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. So you were spying on her? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. He killed Hecate's cat by accident, but this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected... Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. Uh-huh. Well, what of Pan? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true, I do not deny it. It's still, I did not kill the muse. Okay, let's say we believe you, for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? <laughs> That's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak 
monkey in the face with it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth... I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated? Yes, yes, fine, you were right, Freddy, as always. Ha! <laughs> see, was that so hard? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah! One hint of googly eyes and... <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without you? Uh, you'll never need to answer that question, Grace. If it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? You still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me, right now. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... You really expect me to believe that? I was hoping, yes. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. <laughs> 